Hey everyone, it's Tim with Bevan Farm, and today I want to talk to you about the cruise that we just got back from. Uh, we left out of Galveston, Texas. Uh, we're up in Fort Worth, Texas, about five hours away. Uh, about 10 days ago, we've been back for three, four days. Uh, we were on the Carnival Dream doing a six day Western Caribbean cruise. Um, we started off Galveston, had a day at sea. Then we arrived in Costa Maya, Mexico. Then after we left Costa Maya, we arrived in Belize City, Belize. Spent the day there and then we went to Cozumel, Mexico, which is back on the way towards Texas. Uh, and then after the day in Cozumel, we had another day at sea and we ended up in Galveston. So it took about six days. Uh, it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of things we did, uh, some things you know, maybe we wish we did or didn't do. Uh, but I wanted to talk about all that and kind of give our experience, our review of our experience, that is, on the Carnival Dream. Uh, so, first thing was we stopped in Costa Maya, Mexico. We decided we wanted to do an excursion when we were there, and we did swimming with dolphins. It was called the, I guess, the Swim Adventure with Dolphins. Our kids got to swim with the dolphins. Actually, we did too. All five of us did it. Our two daughters, our exchange student, uh, Rachel and myself. And we swam with the dolphins. We got to ride on them, which was cool. You held out your arm and they came up and uh, went next to you and you grabbed their fin and rode them. That was really cool. Uh, you stood at the edge of the water, held out your hands. The dolphin would have come up and actually swim with you. It was really cool. Uh, what else did they do? They put their head in your hand and let you pet them. You rub their back. They give you a kiss on the cheek. It was really cool. Dolphin experience was great. Uh, my only complaint about that was the pictures afterwards. They, you know, it's basically a, a rip off on the pictures. It cost us $120 to get three individual pictures of our girls. Uh, they had a professional photographer taking pictures. Uh, you know, they have an area where you can take them yourself, but that means that somebody's missing out on the experience. And since we had the exchange student and our two girls, we decided it was it was worth it. We would we would spend it and get the pictures for them. So fine, um, yeah. We didn't see uh, much else to do in Costa Maya after we were done with the dolphins. It only took an hour, and we were there. I think for about six hours. So after we left the dolphin area, we basically walked around the port, looked around a little bit, didn't see a whole lot besides some, you know, souvenir shops and a couple of little restaurants. And then we decided to get back on the boat. Um, yeah, so all in all, Coast Maya was a pretty good experience. Really enjoyed the dolphins. Uh, let's see, next we went down to Belize City uh, we got off and we had already planned to do an excursion there also. We did the Tiger Cave zip lining and cave tubing adventure. And so what this was, they drove us about an hour away from the coast through Belize, which really uh, made you feel so guilty. It was very, it was very poor and it, it made you feel bad. Uh, for the way the people were living, you know, while you're riding a bus and going to go have fun zip lining and tubing and all that. But besides that, let's let's talk about the zip lining. It was it was really cool. Uh, you went to about seven different stations, and our girls did it. Everyone did it. It was a lot of fun. Some of the lines went through the rainforest, where others started in the rainforest and then ended up going into a cave which is really cool. So you wore a helmet with a light on and a couple of the stations were actually in a cave in dark, which was really cool. Uh, at the end of that tour, we got off the zip line and went to another station where they had tubes and we got in the inner tubes and a tour of the inside of these caves or I guess one cave and had to have your light on because it was pitch black in there. There's bats and things flying around. It was really cool. Uh, really cool experience afterwards. They took us to have lunch at a local place. It was really fun, had a great day. The main takeaway with that was we really felt bad for the people of Belize. 
just for the conditions that they're living in. Um, what else? Belize City, though, was a pretty cool little town. It was under British rule, I think, until the 70s and then became an independent nation uh, in 1981, same year I was born. Anyway, so after that, we got on the boat and the next day, or that night, we headed towards Cozumel. Uh, we decided not to do any excursions in Cozumel just because we had spent so much money on the other two. We decided we wanted to have an easy day and we went to Cozumel and just took a ride on a taxi over to a private beach, decided we wanted to relax. We went to the private beach, got ourselves a cabana, and then the girls got to play in water obstacle courses. Uh, what else did they do? They used kayaks and went around the ocean with the kayaks. Uh, Rachel and I enjoyed some beverages. She got a massage, we got some food. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? Oh, the girls did some snorkeling, that was fun. Uh, all in all, it was just a nice, relaxing day. You know, no stress about getting to um, a bus or, you know, worried about missing the cruise ship. So we hung out for a couple hours and then came back to port two or three hours before we even needed to. Did a quick little shopping, got some souvenirs, t-shirts and, and stuff for, you know, friends and family that, you know, deserve something for us for all the uh, favors they're doing for us back home, taking care of animals and such. Um, yeah, so excursions were great. We had a great time. Um, yeah, no, main issue is just how expensive they are, but really, what do you expect? You're contributing to the local economy for these places that you're stopping. Let's see, next on my little list here, I've got a list, was the food on the Carnival Dream. Um, in my opinion, the food left a little to be desired. I really enjoyed going to the, I guess, I don't want to say formal, but more formal dining than the Lido buffet area. We were going to Scarlet Restaurant. Went there, I believe four or five, four nights out of six where you could get a steak, you know, things like that. Get a, a nice meal and sit together as a family. You had your assigned table that you had the whole time. So you didn't have to worry about, you know, where you could sit and things like that. It was the same table every night. Same servers too, it was really cool. They remembered your name. I mean, maybe they had it written down, but still it made you feel special. Uh, that was great. The buffets, not so much. The kids enjoyed it. Uh, my wife and I, yeah, it was all right. It was nothing special. Really the, the different offerings didn't go together. You know, you have certain genres that you didn't have the, the sides that went with the main. It was just, it was just kind of strange. Uh, there was a guy's burger joint on board and that was really good. Uh, I don't say it as good as everybody's saying it is, but it was a good cheeseburger. You could put all the toppings on it you wanted. So that made it pretty good and it was easy they're usually ready to go as soon as you got into the line. You didn't have to wait. Um, there was also a guy's pig and anchor barbecue. That was pretty good, but the wait, you know, we went before it even opened. I think it was only open two out of the six days. The wait was 45 minutes, and this was before it even opened, which was incredible for, you know, I'm from Texas, so we sell barbecue everywhere. And to me, it was just, average barbecue it was good but wasn't anything extremely special uh sorry guy if you're listening yeah maybe maybe do a little more variety there it was good though i'm not gonna bash it uh other than that we didn't try the steakhouse or any of those other places we mostly just did the formal dining the buffet the burger and the barbecue um, you know, some of the stuff at the buffet, they had specialty things you could do like a sandwich line where they'd make you your own special sandwich. There was a, a walk, there was a pasta place. So, I mean, all that was all right. The only problem was just the lines and how long it took. You know, usually when you come up for lunch, 
and you're walking around with a plate in your hand, you don't want to stand there for 20 minutes while you're waiting for someone to make something for you. So most people just opt to go to the, the buffet and get something quick. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I, I'd rate the food, you know, six and a half out of 10. Wasn't bad, but could have been a little better. Uh, let's see, next. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about the Carnival app. The app was great. Told you when things were happening. You know, you could make a planner of, of things you wanted to do and you could assign, you know, people to it where if you said, oh, our kids want to do this or my wife wants to do this and I want to do something else, you could put it in there like that. That was kind of cool. And, uh, you know, there are lots of different events going on all the time. We did trivia and putt-putt contests and cornhole contest basketball let's see what else there were concerts just popping up everywhere it was really cool uh a couple little gripes were that sometimes there were things scheduled in there and you'd show up at the place where it was supposed to happen and then nothing happened uh so that happened once uh, or twice i went to do a cornhole tournament which i would have won just saying uh went to the pool area and it never happened uh samantha our oldest daughter wanted to do it too and so she was a little disappointed and then later on that same day, we went to go do a free throw contest at the basketball court, and that never happened either. But, you know, whatever. We found other things to do. Let's see. Uh, some other things on the ship. Sorry, my hands are filthy. I can see it on there. I've been working on my golf cart. Um, the pools. To me, the pools were kind of an issue. You know, there's a lot of kids on board and the pools were not sufficient for having kids that want to swim and play and all that. Mostly they were just filled with adults drinking. Uh, the pools were tiny. There was no room for the kids. So they just had to, you know, kind of find their own thing, which, you know, on a ship of that size, I would expect them to have better accommodations for swimming for kids. They just had two small pools, one in the front, one in the back. Um, you know, most of our time that was spent by the pool was actually in the evening, we watched movies, a uh, pretty decent variety of movies on there. So, you know, we got to watch them. The kids watched Jurassic Park and uh, let's see, Black Adam and Black Panther, you know, things like that. So there was a lot of variety for the kids. In fact, there were nights where we let the girls just stay after midnight to watch movies and we went back to the room to sleep. Anyway, so, all in all, I'd say we had a good trip. Um, you know, really expensive. I think we're getting close to $5,000 after it's all said and done, which, you know, that's a lot of money. That's that's more than we spent going to Disney, which I won't go to Disney anymore. Um, we spent a couple years ago. And, you know, Rachel and I like to travel, but we're not the type that likes to just sit around and eat and drink and do nothing all day. We like to be active. And so I think that in the future, you know, maybe we'll go on a cruise again at some point, but we're more of the type that would rather uh, either do a wellness cruise where you do, you know, healthy things or just get our own camper and drive around the country or, you know, just fly to a destination overseas or internationally and do things that way. Uh, you know, the cruise ship definitely makes it convenient and you can do, you know, a lot of things through them uh, generally a little safer, I guess, depending on where you go. Um, you know, some of the places in the Caribbean, you have to be careful. That's all I'll say. But yeah, the cruise was a good experience, but I think our next trip like that will be most likely in a camper that we own and can take wherever we want. You know, we have family nationwide. We have, con you know, friends and family all over the country. And so I, I think that's what we'll do the next time. Anyway, I hope uh, our thoughts are helpful to you in case you're kind of like us with any thoughts or plans you have. You know, if it's something you have always wanted to do, go do it. It'll be a lot of fun. But, you know, if you're more frugal like I am, then some of the things just kind of bother you a little bit when you're forking over so much cash. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I will talk to you later. Have a good one.